the void, but somehow different this time. I can pull you into this place. The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? I told you, when you're old, how sister. You said that last year. Jessica is younger than me, and she's a court every day. Business? Well, it's complicated. You understand someday? What did I do? Oh, my God. I swear. Next year. games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spymaster caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't bring it. Would you like to tell me who did? We were just playing. Yeah, Lady Jessica, what's your account? It was her. Delilah's lying. She broke it. parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. Hard to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I was young, the loyalist conspiracy that kidnapped me also took Anton Sokolov. They brought him to the pub where I was being held and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? Sokolov laughed at them. He taught me lessons and told me funny stories. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued he doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I thought he'd tell me the secret to defeating Delilah and saving the Empire. But I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Mother, 
That wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I to blame, blame for Delilah's bitterness? No. She's the one who orchestrated the coup. Our decisions, decisions have waked. I, I feel, feel my time, time drawing to an end. end. Soon. brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and my father is... missing. This is Anton Sokolov, the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge that I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor. Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous. As obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of? Or what she's up to? trouble remembering my mother's face sometimes. But there might be some resemblance. Hated from memory. While trying to learn more about what the Duke of Sarkonos was up to, I began hearing a name I hadn't heard in almost two decades. Delilah Copperspoon. We painted together for a time, but her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. I saw some of her paintings. Beautiful, but somehow sinister. You knew Delilah? All this time traveling with you and you never mentioned My that? past is none of your business. You don't own everything, Empress. Another life, another life. Megan came to Karnaka to reinvent herself. Maybe I did as well, but the Duke of Sarkonos had other ideas. age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter, Alexandria. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. 
There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. No, please! I have nothing. I'm just a poor maid. I see you've heard the stories about Pirate Betty, about all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinket or a bag of coins. Have mercy! Don't hurt me! Should I start by <laughs> muff your nose? Ah! Oh. Oh. I bet Jack this Ryan. one's carrying corn. Oh. 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 oh no, please! 